The male pilot is vastly inferior to the female pilot in Titanfall, especially in a competitive setting. Let's take a look at why you should always choose the female pilot always, no matter what. The most important areas in which the female pilot completely trounces the male pilot are in those of strafing left and right, and of those when jumping or just simply ejecting and strafing. First up, let's take a look at strafing left and right while holding a weapon aiming down sights such as a carbine or an R97 SMG. Note with the female pilot, how your head and shoulders bob left and right very, very quickly, um, almost like down to just a few frames, they're almost transitioning. And it's, it's quick enough to the point where you cannot effectively track them whatsoever. In order to shoot at a female pilot effectively, you have to aim towards her mid chest or towards her elbow level. Everything else, every other part of her body just moves far too much. This means that getting headshots on female pilots mid-fight is very, very difficult and very random if they are pulling this, uh, this technique off. Let's take a look at what it looks like when a male pilot does this in comparison to a female. And I'm sure you'll see as plain as day as I do that the male pilot just simply does not move anywhere near as much. He's much more easy to hit uh, when firing from an aiming down sights position. So in a most optimal situation, uh, in, a so in a somewhat close range engagement where you're going to actually be using this, a female pilot is going to win pretty much every time with aims between player A and player B being exactly the same. Next up we'll take a quick look at jumping and eject strafing. Now the animations are going to be pretty much the same here. When you see a female pilot jump or double jump or eject strafe, um, what she does is she actually brings her legs up. She tucks them up into her chest, um, almost like you're doing a crouch jump in, you know, old school FPS games. So she creates a much smaller profile uh, for enemies to shoot at. It's much more difficult, well not much more difficult, but slightly more difficult to hit a female pilot as she's airborne in comparison to a male pilot. Let's take a look at the male pilot here where you're going to be seeing him doing the same kind of double jump and his legs are completely splayed out. They're not tucked in whatsoever. He's presenting a much larger target for you to shoot at. This is the same one ejecting. Um, female pilots will tuck their legs up, male pilots will not. The only exception to this is when you're holding a secondary weapon as a pilot. Um, both the female and male will actually splay their legs out, just like the male will do with primaries, but only when the female is holding a primary weapon in her hand will she actually tuck her legs up appropriately, and I believe she does it with anti-titan weapons as well. So that's pretty much it guys, I know quick video, um, but that's really all there is to it, you know? You'll see that the female pilot is much more evasive in nature than the male pilot just by design of her different animations. Her animations are just quite frankly better than the males. So. The only reason that I could foresee you ever wanting to choose a male pilot uh, in a competitive setting, not because it looks cooler or anything like that, but if you want to just min-max and have the absolute best possible player model, the only time that a male player model is going to do you better than a female is if you're in a match where you want to roll out very quickly. So you start off from your spawn, let's say you're on Nexus. You start off from your spawn and you want to run straight down the middle lane and you know there's a group of four grunts that are going to be spawning right there every single time. You're going to be in the same spot. What you can do is rush into those group of grunts and just start standing there as a male pilot with your carbine, maybe even crouch, and just try your best to look like a really stupid AI and stand in that group and try to pick somebody off. That's about the only use that I could ever imagine for a male pilot model. Otherwise, you should always be using the female, no matter what. So, anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new. Uh, please like and subscribe if you feel so inclined, and we'll see you next time. Take care.